And so we systematically compared DNA methylation maps between modern humans and archaic humans, and we were able to identify about 600 genes whose activity pattern is unique to modern humans. And then we built a tool that tells us which body parts are affected by these genes. And in fact, we have identified a network of five genes that they all work early during uh, embryonic development when the skeletal system is formed. And together, these genes explain all the known differences in the skull morphology between us and Neanderthals, including the face, the fact that we have retracted face, we have chin, we have high um, uh, forehead, and so on and so forth. But these genes also tell us that the anatomy of our voice box is not identical uh, to that of archaic humans, and we had a different, maybe small difference, but a different voice box.